there's no words really to describe what it's like to see your um, see your son connected to life support and um, being told he has a 50-50 chance. You look for answers, you want to swap roles, you want to say, well, just put me there. This is the moment James reached the summit of Mount Kilimanjaro while carrying his son's weight on his chest. I've got the vest on. I promised you, Georgie, I'd do it. At three years old, George was diagnosed with meningitis. Had a temperature. Luckily, my wife acted quickly and he was taken into hospital where he contracted bacterial meningitis. Blood infection around the brain and into the spinal fluid. He was in intensive care for several days and we got him home. We thought he was okay. Then he had a seizure which robbed him of his hearing. I felt completely helpless. Dads fix things. That's what we do. And I couldn't fix George. so. I had to put my energy into something. He decided to climb Mount Kilimanjaro to raise money for meningitis research. A little bit closer every time. It was the hardest, hardest thing I've ever done. Minus 13, your hands are shaking. You are walking six inch steps or seven to eight hours, hallucinating the next, but the feeling of satisfaction when you get to the top is just mind-blowing. Georgie, Daddy, show you some pictures. See, you hear lobster. Where's the lobster? A big octopus. I think people know the disease. They don't have a clue about the symptoms because I didn't. I didn't know about lethargy, about vomiting. I didn't know about fear of bright lights, um, where bright lights hurt the eyes. I didn't know that the temperature doesn't go down even if you switch between paracetamol and ibuprofen. And these symptoms are the ones often before the rash. There was a doctor, she'd put George on the anti-meningitis medication before he'd been diagnosed, which we now know saved his life. It took James and his group four days to reach the summit. Very emotional, there was a lot of tears. Um, not just from me, but from everybody else on the trek. We were at 19 and a half thousand feet. I felt like I'd made peace a little bit with, with what happened to George, made peace with the meningitis. And I came back down with a smile on my face, so that's good. Daddy did it. Love you lots. Chris Waring, BBC News.